Hey, good fucking morning. What's happening, guys? Um, it's a great morning, and uh, today is going to be shoulder day, and I'm going to train with, I believe, a couple people today, so I'm looking forward to that shit. It's going to be a fucking fun-ass workout. That's for goddamn sure. When you guys see who I'm training with, it's going to be awesome. Um, and then, tomorrow is going to be arms. So today is shoulders. Tomorrow is arms, just straight fucking arms. And those are the best workouts, right? Everyone loves training arms and, uh, you know, probably superset that shit. So anyway, enough about tomorrow, let's talk about today. So <laughs> today's gonna be shoulders and, uh, you know, we're gonna do something different. You know, you know when you, I've been training pretty much every night at North Hollywood Golds, you know, and the North Hollywood Golds is only 8,000 square feet. There's not a lot of equipment. So, you know, there's a lot, not a lot of variations, you know, so you wind up, doing a lot of the same exercises, which, you know, is not good. You don't want to fall into that pattern of, re of repeating the same routine because it gets stale and the body stops, you know, stops growing. So um, you really got to try to mix it up, as you guys know, and constantly mix it up and do different things, higher reps, lower reps, different machines, different exercises. So, um, you know, I'm going to, I think today, I'm just going to do, you know, a different workout for shoulders. And, you know, shoulders is probably the workout that, you know, there, there's certain exercises like dumbbell side laterals. Those are just, there is no better exercise for shoulders. There is no better exercise for side delts. There is no better exercise for, for getting those wide, round fucking shoulders. You know, that is, in my opinion, the best fucking exercise there is for shoulders. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's just that's one of those exercises that I just, it's really hard to go in the gym and do shoulders and not do those. It's nearly impossible because I know the benefit and the pump I get, there's just nothing like them. So um, I'm gonna skip those today and do something different even though I fucking dread it. So we're gonna start with machine presses, right? And um, you know, there's one machine on Hollywood Golds, it's the only machine I use because it mimics, basically mimics dumbbell presses and it's a great fucking machine, you know, and it adjusts, the seat adjusts down and up and back and forth, which all the new machines, you can't adjust it back and forth, only up and down, which makes no fucking sense. And it just has the best feeling, you know, it's just, it's a great fucking machine. So um, I'm not going to use that machine today. I'm going to use a machine that I, I've actually never used at North Hollywood Golds. And it's been there for 20 something years because I don't care for it. But you know what? Not caring for it might be a good thing, you know, but um, it's something different. That's for fucking sure. It's something my shoulders aren't used to. So I'm going to use that machine that I don't fucking like. All right, so I'm gonna use the, this uh, certain military press machine and I suggest you guys do something different too. Do some press today that you don't normally do. Some bullshit that you're not used to doing just to fucking shock the body and do something different. So um, we're gonna do the usual five sets, you know, 20 reps, pyramid and all the way down to 10, five sets. And um, from there, I'm gonna go to side laterals on a side lateral machine. Now, a lot of gyms don't have side lateral machines. Uh, they're not as common as they used to be. And, uh, you know, personally, if I owned a gym, I wouldn't have one either because it's just a waste of space, in my opinion, because dumbbell side laterals is just superior to any fucking machine. So I wouldn't waste space, you know, putting a dumbbell, I mean, I'm sorry, a side lateral machine. It's a waste. You know, the machines are, are shit, basically. But, you know, we got to mix that shit up. So we're going to mix it up and... I'm gonna do some shitty ass shit today, but I'm gonna make it a good fucking workout and I'm gonna get a good pump, I'm gonna get sore, and I'm gonna make that shit work. So next we're gonna go to the side lateral machine and I'm gonna do seven sets, starting with 30 reps, you know, pyramiding all the way down to 12 reps. And I don't like to go any lower than 12 reps when it comes to side laterals, you know, it's all about the burn, you know, the form and the contraction at the top, you know, and feeling that muscle work. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And then for rear delts, you know, I'm, let me see, rear delts. I'm gonna do another rear delt machine that is basically, basically I'm gonna use a side lateral machine, but what I do is I bend down and I use the same machine, but bent over. So it's basically hitting the rear delts. And it's something that, this one's, you know, it's a little bit, actually this machine's a, I use it a little more often for rear delts. I never use it for side delts. So uh, rear delts, it works pretty good. So um, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do the same exact reps, seven sets of 30 to 12. 
and uh, and then I'm gonna do my traps, shrugs, and the shrugs I'm gonna do um, machine shrugs rather than you know my favorite is Smith machine or free weight, you know free bar. I don't really care for dumbbell shrugs, and the reason being is because in my opinion, it's more work taking the dumbbells off the rack and putting them back on the rack than it is actually doing the shrug. So I feel like I exert more energy trying to get the dumbbells, you know, because you're using the heaviest dumbbells in the gym, you know, whatever that may be, the 150s, 180s, 200s, and, uh, you know, to pick those dumbbells up off the rack and walk back, you know, it, it, I exert more energy doing that than I do shrugging. So it doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, and then putting them back on the rack. And I don't know if that sounds lazy or what, whatever the fuck it sounds, is I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> that, that's the way I look at it. That I, I exert more fucking energy fucking taking the dumbbells off the rack and doing the exercise. To me, that doesn't make any sense. It's kind of like, you know, leg pressing when you can leg press 15 plates a side. Jesus Christ, you know what the workout is like putting 15 plates on each side of the leg press? Fucking A, man, just go squat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then you see these guys and they're working out with their girlfriends and the guy's doing 15 plates on each side and then the girl does three plates. So the guy's stripping the fucking leg press between every fucking set. He's stripping it all the way back down, loading it all the way back up. Stripping it all the way down. I'm like, oh my, this guy's lost his fucking mind. <laughs> I'd be like, no, we're squatting. We're not fucking doing leg presses. So anyway, it's something I noticed. It cracks me up that people would that fucking sit there and take all those plates off and put them all back on. Um, but uh, that's that's just in the beginning stage of the relationship, you know, after, you know, a couple weeks or so, you know, he ain't doing that shit no more for her. But anyway, so shrugs, uh, you know, I, I start with start with probably the same rep range as the lateral. I'll start with 30 reps, um, but on shrugs, I'll go all the way down to, you know, eight to 10 reps, you know, because it is a power movement compound. That's not necessarily a compound movement, but it is a power movement. So, uh, you know, we can go heavy on those and you're still, you're still going to get, you know, growth and, uh, you know, you're going to get results from the exercise, not doing full range or not getting a, a full contraction on top, you know, just lifting that heavy weight is going to make those traps grow. So, um, you know, and I'm talking about just on the last set, you know, you can go heavy and maybe not get a full contraction on the last set. And uh, that's an exercise that your traps are still going to get benefits from it. Just holding that heavy weight and that pressure on your traps, you know, is, is going to help the traps grow. So I definitely believe in going, uh, you know, working your way up to lower reps on shrugs. So, uh, yeah, that'll be, um, I'd say let's stick to seven sets on shrugs too. Seven sets, starting at 30 reps all the way down to eight. And um, I think that's going to be it for the shoulder workout. And, you know, it sounds like a pretty shitty workout the way I described it, but... Our job is to make this workout a good fucking workout. And we're doing something different that the body's not used to. So that's what's important. And it's important to have the capability of taking, you know, something that's not your favorite and making it into something good. You know, and there's going to be times when you're at a hotel, you're on a cruise, where you don't have the best equipment available. But you know what? If you are fucking really into your workouts and dedicated you will find a way to have an incredible workout anywhere. You know, you can have an incredible workout in your fucking hotel room without even any weights. You know, if you're that obsessed and that motivated to train your body, um, you can find a way. So, um, you know, so that's, uh, that's, the, that's the job today is to take these exercises that aren't the best and make them the best. You know, turn this workout into an incredible workout, which can be done. And um, so uh, that's, that's, that's our plan today. That's our job duty is to go to the gym and do these, these exercises that aren't the best and make them the best and make our shoulders burn, make our shoulders work, leave the gym knowing we had a great fucking workout. And um, that's our goal. That's what we're going to do. And also, it's going to be seven meals today. So I don't know how many, how tough a time it was for you guys out there to get seven meals in, but, you know, I'm telling you the truth. It was, you know, it, it, it wasn't... It wasn't like I had to stay up late or, you know, had to force feed or anything like that. But, you know, it was a little more difficult than I expected. I thought I was going to cruise all the way to, you know, eight or nine meals and then have to start, you know, being like, oh, fuck. But, yeah, no, seven hit me pretty hard. So uh, we're probably going to wait about a week and a half. We're going to go to that eighth meal, you know, and that's that's where it's I think that's where it's, you know, it's going to get difficult. And uh, we'll see. I think people are going to start losing people somewhere 
somewhere between eight and twelve is where people are going to start dropping off. That's that's what I see happening. So, but um, you know, if we'll just see how bad you guys fucking want it, and we'll see how many people are honest and how many people admit, like, fuck, man, I just can't fucking do it. But I, you know what? Actually, I don't want to hear that shit. You know, I don't want to hear you can't fucking do it because we both, everybody knows you can fucking do it. You know, so it's it's not that you can't; it's that you're choosing not to. It's you're basically you're pussing out. It's basically you don't want it bad enough. So. Um, hopefully this doesn't happen. Hopefully everyone out there wants this shit bad enough and you're willing to do whatever it takes. And uh, when you took this challenge on, you know, you, you were willing to do whatever it takes, you know, to, to beat this and, you know, to, to fulfill this challenge and win and be a winner. So, um, so I don't think I'm going to hear any of that from you guys. Hopefully everyone's, you know, decided from day one that I'm going to fucking do this shit. That means that I'm going to fucking do it. Right? So, uh, you know... That's where I'm at. I don't have no fucking choice. And hopefully you guys don't have a choice either. Hopefully you guys are in the same boat and it's like, there is no fucking choice. You know, we're going to do this shit. There is no choice. That's all there is to it. You know, 12 meals a day, no problem. It's got to be done. You know, and uh, we'll reap the benefits at the end and just, just knowing that we accomplish this. You know, knowing that, you know, you can accomplish this. So, um, and then, you know, more goals to come in life and you'll be able to accomplish those too. So, uh, so anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to get going, hop my ass on cardio, 30 minutes of cardio, get this day started. I'm excited and, uh, it's going to be a great fucking day. So, uh, anyway, guys, let's fucking do this. Meal number two, turkey bolognese. God damn it. <laughs> love it. Babe, have I told you how many times I love it? <laughs> yeah, a few times. Yep. No, no, yep. <laughs> no, yep. Guys, you and you're you're like <laughs> spamming my pates with all the fucking yeps. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so yesterday was the first time getting seven meals in, and you know, you guys hear how I talk, and I gotta say, you know, it was a little difficult. I have to admit, it wasn't as easy as I like to sound it to be because I haven't done that shit in who knows how long. Years and years have I eaten that much food in a day. So, seven meals wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. And we'll probably be upping it to eight probably in about a week and a half. You know, I can't believe it's already been 30 fucking days. Wow. Time flies when you're getting huge. Ah, it's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I can't even imagine what's going to happen when I'm eating 12, 13 meals. Holy fuck. That's all I'm going to be doing is eating. Right? My films is just going to be rich piano eating. <laughs> the, whole, the whole video is going to be eating one meal after another. That's it. Sorry, I ain't got no time to talk. No time. Whatever. I'm just eating. But if that's what it takes, that's what I'm going to do. So, you know, I've been catching some videos here and there. Um, people saying that, some people are saying I claim I'm going to get to 400 pounds. And then other people are saying, people are saying that I'm claiming I'm going to get to 350. So, I don't know where this shit's coming from. You guys watch my videos. You guys tell me. I mean, I do remember saying shit like, like, I could get to this. I could keep going and get to this. There is really no end, you know, to how big I can get. I can keep on going. You know, it's just, you can only do so much at a time. You know, so at this time around, you know, the goal was, um, the goal was basically 30 pounds in three months since I changed it to four months. You know, let's say it was 40 pounds in four months, right? So 10 pounds a month. Now, I have mentioned that I'm going to destroy my goal. I'm definitely going to beat my goal. You know, I'm not going to just make my goal. I'm going to beat my goal. So what that weight ends up being, I don't know. But I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to 400 pounds. I don't know where the hell that fucking number came from. But <laughs> I, there's no way, I wouldn't, there's no way in the world I would go to 400 pounds. I wouldn't want to be 400 pounds, you know. I don't want to be fucking 330, to be honest, you know. 
it's not going to be a pretty sight and I'm not going to feel my best. I'm not going to feel very good at all at 3.30. Um, as people know, this isn't something I want to do. If I wanted to do this, I would have been 3.30 15 years ago and I would have stayed 3.30 the last 15 years. There's a reason why I, might I maintained my weight around 260, 270 for the last 15 years because that's where I like my weight to be. That's where I'm most comfortable, you know? And as far as muscle dysmorphia, I definitely have muscle dysmorphia. I've had that shit since I was a teenager. You know, I think everyone out there, any guy out there who works out, even a small, you know, smaller physique type guy has muscle dysmorphia, you know? There's times you look in the mirror and you feel like you're not as big as you were a couple weeks ago or you feel like you're, you, you could be a little bigger. But as far as me wanting to be as big as I possibly can, that's definitely not true because I haven't tried to be big in over 15 years. This is basically I'm doing this program to prove to people that I haven't been trying to get big, you know, because people see my Instagram and Facebook and they're under the assumption that I'm doing everything to be as big as I am. And it cracks me up because I'm, I'm really was doing nothing. You know, I was eating three meals a day and, you know, taking very little juice. You know, my cycles were, were, were pretty small. So I figured the only way to show people that I wasn't doing a shit, shit amount of drugs and I wasn't obsessively trying to be as big as I can is to show people what happens when I do try to be big. When I do want to get bigger, I simply get bigger very quickly. So, you know, I can bounce up to 330 pounds or whatever it may be, you know, stay there for a month or two, and then I can, you know, come back down to where I like to be, which is, you know, 260, 270. Now, I think that's going to show that I don't have a fucking crazy muscle dysmorphia fucking disease or some shit where, you know, I I'm obsessively want to be as big as I can. No, I obsessively want to be around 260. <laughs> that's 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 my uh, my perfect ideal weight. And anyone that sees pictures of me at 260, I think will agree that I definitely look better at 260 than I do over 300 pounds. And I'm fully aware of that. You know, but it's it's frustrating when I see everybody complaining and asking and um, confused, saying how hard it is to get big, how difficult it is, and how they're doing everything they can and they just can't do it. And so this is my way of just giving back to everyone and saying, here, follow me on this journey. We're all going to get fucking huge. It's going to take three months out of my fucking life, but it's going to be fun. I've always enjoyed putting on muscle. You know, it's a fun journey. And uh, let's do this shit. When it's over, I can go back down to wherever I want to be. Shit, if I want to stay at 3.30, I'll stay at 3.30. Who knows? You know, we'll see. But, um, um, you know, basically, I definitely just reassuring everyone that I'm well aware that, which I've been saying for fucking years and years, even when I, when I was with Mutant, that I like being around 260 or 270. That's my ideal body weight as far as how I feel and how I look. And I definitely look a million times better at 260. You know, I have a 34 inch waist, my face is lean, you know, my jaw, my chin, you know, as far as all around look, I look a million times better, you know. My arms look like they're almost the size of my waist. You know, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's my definitely preferred look. As I get bigger, my, my face gets rounder, my waist gets thicker, and, you know, for instance, everything gets bigger, but my, my arms and shoulders don't get bigger in proportionate to my waist. You know, I, I can put three or four inches on my waist, possibly, and only put an inch on my arms. So, you know, uh, aesthetically, that's not, you know, a good move. So, um, which, you know, I think everyone knows this information. But, now, to clear that up a little bit, which I know my true fans out there that have been following me for, you know, years and years already know this information. Um, so, you know, this is basically me you know, showing everyone how easy it is to get big and, you know, step by step, giving my knowledge away. And I've been, I've been telling people for the last four or five years on YouTube, um, through my videos, what it takes, but I think people just have to see that shit, you know, and it's definitely evident because, you know, at the expos, everyone's telling me, oh, I can't believe how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people 
are actually following me on this journey and actually getting great results. So, you know, it's awesome. It's great. And um, it's working. And so, you know, it's great. And I'm having, I have to admit, I'm having a great time. This is some fun shit for me. I haven't done this shit for years, you know. And the truth is, you know, I am a true bodybuilder at heart. You know, I, I love the sport. I love competing. I love putting muscle on, you know. But, you know, I know, you know, I, you know, I'm a fairly smart person and I know where I look best and I know where I feel best, you know, and, um, you know, um, I definitely look better at 260 and, you know, give me your guys' comments tell me what you think and I guarantee that, that at least, at least 80% of the people out there will agree with me, I believe, and they'll say, yeah, you do look better at 260, 270, Rich, you know, and, uh, you know, I've already done that comparison on IG and, you know, most people agree with me, so, um, you know, um, that's, that's where it's at, but again, I'm having fun. I'm glad that I can help everyone out. And, uh, you know, and this will be the biggest I've ever been. You know, I've never, my, my highest weight previous to this, I believe was around 306, 308, somewhere in there. I never got to 310. So, you know, on this, on this, uh, this three month, you know, bigger by the day regiment um, series, um, I'm gonna by far, you know, be the biggest I've ever been in my life. And, uh, you know, and I'm having a great time. And that's what's most important. I need to shut the fuck up and eat, right? That's the first thing I taught you guys is you gotta eat your meals fast so you have more time to get your meals in. So I need to shut the fuck up and eat, goddammit. I'm not following my own rules. China. Tinkles. Good girl, China. Come here, China. Come here. Come here, baby. Stop it. Good girl. Girl. Gee. All right, China. What a good girl. Yeah. Good girl, China. Come out here about two or three times a day, play ball with her, with what's left of the ball. China, you gotta get a new one. She loves popping them. Hot China, makes you feel like the king, goddammit. Hot China, makes you feel like the king. Get it, China. Girl. Ah, poop. She's like, mom, give me some privacy. I'm zooming in and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Poor China. Aww. Point points. Hi. Good girl, China. Come here, girl. <laughs> Come here. All right, drop it. Give me that ball. You give me that ball, China. You give me that ball. I don't play tug of war, but <laughs> I'm not down for that game. <laughs> All right, China. Go. You cover that ball. Ha ha! Girl! China, are you scared of the camera? Are you scared of the camera, China? Huh? Are you scared of the camera? Girl! Hi. Okay, shake time. Today we're gonna have a little fun with the shake, you know what I mean? So, we have the 10 egg whites, of course. We have banana that I had to add, which banana is my favorite fucking fruit there is. And I'm gonna go with three scoops of real food, right? Three scoops is 60 grams of carbs, okay? And I'm gonna go with the cocoa pebbles. So you guys know, you can just imagine the cocoa pebbles and the banana together, okay? Now this is not something we do every day, it's just this little treat that I throw in there once in a while. You guys gotta understand that after you work out, 
your body needs to replenish that glycogen right back into the muscle. So the best time in the day to eat sugar is right after the workout. So as you can see, this is what is this, the second time I've done this, babe, in, in 30 days. The second time I've had a Cocoa Pebbles yeah. shake. Yep. So, you know, it's not a fucking habit. It's not something you do every day. It's not a Ben and Jerry's habit. <laughs> not yet. So. <laughs> So, like I said, it's something I do once in a while as a treat. And we gotta remember, it's a treat, right? I'm not trying to pass this off to everyone and say that this is the best possible nutritional shake you can have after a workout. Now, egg whites, yams, and oatmeal is, I am gonna pass that off as the best possible shake you could have after a workout. It's 100% real food, and also the dried blueberries in there, don't forget. So yes, I'm gonna stand behind it and say yes, that is by far the number one shake you could have after a workout is yams, sweet potatoes, egg whites, dried blueberries, and oatmeal. There is no better shake than that. Now, if I throw in some Cocoa Pebbles, that's just because I'm craving Cocoa Pebbles, and I like this shit. And um, is it gonna hurt me? No, it's not gonna hurt me, it's not a big deal. But I'm just clarifying that this is not Rich Piana's best shake in the world after a workout. I don't want people to misconstrue my words. And next thing you know, Rich is saying that Cocoa Pebbles is the healthiest thing you can eat. That Cocoa Pebbles is the number one bodybuilding food. He's lost his mind. Rich Piana has lost his mind. No, people. Cocoa Pebbles is just something I'm adding for a nice little treat because it tastes good, okay? It's rice and sugar, okay? Is rice and sugar better than maltodextrin? Yes, it is. Sorry, but yeah, it is. And guess what? It costs about three bucks for this fucking big-ass motherfucking box of rice and sugar. So anyway, guys, just remember, this is for fun. You don't do it every fucking day. And I'm into having fun. Cocoa Pebbles, a banana. That's what I'm talking about. I already made my kill it. I just got to find it. I think it's in the freezer. So anyway, guys, I'm ready to rock. Yeah. Action. Oh. Post-workout snack as the pre-workout. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> a little, little, little cookie snack before the workout, right, baby? Yeah. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm wearing a goddamn jacket. Oh, can you believe that? Huh? I learned my lesson. Going around yesterday, fucking no jacket. <laughs> all day and all night, freezing my ass off. Holy shit, at least I'm glad I didn't get sick. Yeah. Whew. I don't think I can get sick right now. I think it's an impossibility. Really? My immune system's like a goddamn superhero right now. Why? Just from being on a cycle. Oh. Yeah, it makes you like, like fucking Superman in every way possible. You know what I mean? I don't know if people realize that shit, but then when you get off the fucking cycle, it's the opposite. Then life's over. <laughs> then you're like an 11 year old little fucking girl. <laughs> you know, that's why fucking people can't get off, you know, but you gotta fucking get off people. You have to get off. But yeah, it's the opposite. You know, I always, always, without a doubt, you know, get on the verge of getting sick when I get off every fucking time. But I don't get sick, but I feel it coming on. It's all part of it. But, gotta get off. And at the end of this 
program, probably the most important part of this entire program is going to be the protocol of getting off and keeping all the size. You know, who the fuck is in my fucking spot? Dude? I know, right? The fuck? God damn it. What kind of fucking car is that? This is just some... It's just, I don't know. Fucking bitch. God damn it. Yeah, it's uh, Nissan. Really? Fucking Nissan. Really? Fucking kidding me. God. <laughs> God damn it. So, but, uh, yeah. So that's going to be probably the most important part of this whole fucking regiment program, whatever you want to call it, is going to be getting off part and maintaining everything we gained because that's where a lot of people fucking screw up is, you know, they lose all their shit when they get off or they don't get off and then they don't lose it, but they don't fucking get anywhere from there. They don't gain anything after that. That's it. You know, and you can't have either one of those things happen. You got to get off. You got to keep your gains. And the next program, you got to gain just as much. You know, every cycle is the same. You know, you can't, there is no, you know, I mean, everyone always says that, you know, no cycles like the first cycle. Well, yeah, it can be. If you know what the fuck you're doing, you do it right. You know? Mm-hmm. So... What's up, buddy? Yeah, yeah, hey, what's up, motherfucker? Yeah. Okay, let's get the spot. Is he leaving? Well, it's not like it's gonna be hard to get the spot, babe. <laughs> babe. Oh, shit! Gotta get the spot, goddammit! <laughs> oh, don't make fun of me. Is he gonna go or just. He's gotta rev his fucking engine up. He's gonna be like, show how run, run. cool and fast his car is. Oh, brother. He's oh. gonna be watching this video later tonight. And I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm like cursing him. And Forget how many people watch this shit, you know? I know, right? <laughs> Seriously? Really, dude? Really? That's so lame. Yeah. Yes. All right. We are in our spot now. Well, From you know, when the day comes that you really have a badass fast car, you don't need to do that shit. I know. You it's have nothing so to prove. stupid. You all right? You know, I has, to, I has to like. Run away like uh okay. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's got some thick ass hair. Look I was just looking <clears throat> at that. Jesus Christ. He could be in a like a head and shoulder. What was it called? Head and shoulders. <laughs> no, isn't it called that? <laughs> what was it called? The shampoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you think of head and shoulders, that's kind of a weird name, right? For yeah. shampoo. Jesus. Hello. My boy Tim. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Say what's up to all the peeps out there. Yeah, yeah, it's chilly out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what up, what up? <laughs> it's kind of hard to see because of the sun, you know. What's up, guys? I'm here at Gold's Gym, North Hollywood. Uh, Big Rich's home gym, about to smash some shoulders. So come join me.
finished, man. Great fucking workout. And it is freezing outside, but I was so fucking hot that this fucking freezing feels good. Oh no, it's awful. <laughs> I'm dying. You cold, baby? Oh, I am dead. Oh my god, it feels good out here! We are on our food run. Right, baby? Yeah. Actually, we're not on a food run. We're actually going to Wood Ranch for dinner. Pretty good ass barbecue if you guys haven't had Wood Ranch. It's definitely, definitely one of our favorites, right, baby? It's delicious. I, this will be our last meal, right, babe? Yeah. Close the place down. Go home. Hit my feet. Work out. Fucking hit the sack. Right? Is that the plan, baby? Yes, it is. That's the plan. All right. Our special parking, babe. Yeah. Uh, so we get out of our way. Here it is. Where we is got it? special parking no matter where we go. Ten minute parking. <laughs> right, babe. Because <laughs> we are special, goddammit. You ready? Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> What's up, everyone? We are at fucking Wood Ranch rubbing down. I got the 10 ounce tri tip, double fucking mashed potatoes. That's what I'm talking about. Sarah's on her keto bullshit. Bacon cheeseburger, broccoli. How's it looking, babe? I am. I'm trying here. Hold on. <laughs> You're trying to film, but we had to sit in each other, right? I know. It's all good. <laughs> so anyway, we ain't got time to talk to you people, so we're gonna get our grub on. And uh, right, baby. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and look at the car still here, baby. Didn't get towed. Thank God. Woo. <laughs> definitely more than ten minutes. What? It's definitely been more than ten minutes. Well, it's about that time. We just got back from dinner at Wood Ranch, and we closed that place down, and had a good, good dinner. Tri tip mashed potatoes. Uh, salad, a little bit of bread, you know, not Sarah. <laughs> She's on the keto, right, babe? Yes. But, um, so I just got my feeder workout, and then I'm hitting the sack. So, uh, I got to go blast those shoulders and uh, get that pump on, get my shoulders burning. I did my vacuums earlier this morning, um, and... And I got my seven meals in. So uh, those seven meals, man, I gotta admit it. It's a little bit of work. It surely is. Seven meals ain't no fucking joke. <laughs> I've been talking about 10, 12 meals for the last 15 years like it ain't nothing, you know? And now that I now that I gotta fucking do it, you know, now I realize, hey man, ain't no joke. Seven meals, you know, it's 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 it takes some work. But you know, the the, the thing is, is it just depends on how bad you fucking want it. You know, if you want it bad enough, then, you know, those are the people that aren't bitching and complaining. They're, they're fucking loving, they love to eat seven meals, you know, because they're just fucking, they're so determined and excited to put on size. I remember that's how I was, you know, when I was young is that, you know, I would do whatever the fuck it took. You know, I was just, that's all I cared about was just, you know, putting on size and, and you know, and putting on muscle, I live for that shit, you know, and I have to say that, you know, we all have our things in life and, you know, us that are fucking, I don't want to say blessed, I want to say, <laughs> you know, fuck it, you know, it's definitely not a blessing to be obsessed with putting on muscle, I'll tell you that much. Um, but yeah, you know, back in the day, I, I didn't complain about nothing because I fucking loved it, you know, and, uh, you know, I have to say that I, I'm enjoying this shit, but it's, it's not the way it used to be when I was young, man, when I love this shit, I live for it, you know, and, you know, I loved everything about, everything about the whole sport of bodybuilding, you know, I just, I loved every aspect of it. And, you know, the people out there that are, that are, you know, looking at it that way, those are the people that aren't complaining. And I know those people, they come to the expo and they start asking me questions and, you know, they're all excited and they're, 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 they're so excited when I give them an answer, you know, and all they do is they just take that information and they want more, they want more. And you know, I say, you know, you gotta do this. You're like, okay, I'll do that. And then da 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 da, da. You know, and then you got people that are like, oh man, I can't do that. Oh, really, that much? Oh man, that's so, it's just like, wow. This is, <laughs> like, you have no hope, man. You're not gonna make it. You know, you just don't have that, that fire burning within you. You know, that you just, 
you know, this is, this is just, you live for this shit, you know, and that, that's what it takes, you know, and, uh, you know, um, you know, we all have the things in life that, you know, we live for and we love and, you know, uh, the people out there that love this shit are the ones that are appreciating this and, uh, you know, are having a blast on this, uh, this little program we're doing. And these are the people that are going to put on 30, 40 pounds by the end. And so anyway, guys, my feet are workouts. I'm going to hit the sack, get some sleep, and sleep's important, and um, grow, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys had a great day, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.